Welcome back to round three. We're trying to go the cleanest of three O's. Won the die roll as well. Ale Milan 19. Man, I just keep getting no mulligans, so I'm going to keep this hand. Again, if it's a super aggro start, we can Perilous Voyage. Uh, Entrancing Melody steal the thing, and Air Elemental up the top end. How do you get this little symbol here? Does that mean he was like class at uh, Amoncat? But I uh, haven't dropped a game. Again, just running really well. Deck super smooth, no mulligans. Um, opponents are kind of just stumbling a little bit, so that's a good draw for us as well. As I said, the draws are going really well. I'm sensing a swamp here. I mean, haven't played vampires yet. Okay, green, white dinosaurs. If you played Drover there, I was bouncing the heck out of it. <clears throat> yeah, the draws just keep coming in that are great. So I could play Sailor Memes for a next turn uh, Air Elemental. I think I might do that. Or Scouring Match now. I think I'm going to play Sailor. Because it leaves the door open for a Sky March plus Bounce with the Palace Voids as well. Ravenous Dagger Tooth. Actually, it lines up decently well against Sailor Memes because it can just attack and then I'll block to save 3 damage and he'll gain 2 life. So it's pretty decent. Okay. I could steal the Dagger Tooth. I kind of don't want to use the mana for Entrancing Melody because I think I want to save this for a slightly bigger creature. And also, I, you know, if I use this for Entrancing Melody, I can't play Air Elemental. Maybe I just. Hmm. So we could have Ixlan's Binding or. Um, the common version of that, basically, um, Pious Interdiction, which would get Air Elemental pretty badly. <clears throat> so, for that reason, I think I'll Sky March Blood Ladder and just pass the turn. If he wants to use a Pious Interdiction on this, it's not the worst because, first of all, I could bounce it so he wouldn't even gain two life. And then I would get the ETB trigger again. And I think I'm just going to take this damage. I know I said that I would block because it would just gain him two life, but now that I have this creature, these creatures on the board, so I think he's going to play a Pterodon Knight, which someone someone corrected me in the comment section. I was like, oh dear god, I definitely want to steal that, but do I want to let him untap it? Is the question. So I need, if I get one more mana, I can steal that off the top. One, two, three, four, hmm. one more mana off the top. 4, 17, 13, so the 13 lands in my deck, <clears throat> so it's like a 43% chance I can get a land and steal this, it's pretty good odds. And I can always main phase bounce it, land. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite. I mean, this is just like one of the best mana sinks. Which is, like, that's why I was so amazed that anybody passed me Entrancing Melody. Not, not, not the second one, of course, because if you're not in blue in pack two, and you're going to take a playable, but pack one, you pass me an Entrancing Melody? I guess that might have been a foil rare or something like that, but this could just steal other people, other bombs. So they're down a bomb, and you're up a bomb. It's just, it's great. I could block here. I don't think there's any way he can flicker this, but I don't want to block. Because we're, we're such a healthy life total. Uh, I can play an air elemental next turn, put it on some major pressure. I could bounce whatever he plays, I might be able to steal what he plays. <clears throat> could be another dagger tooth. Merfolk branch walker, I think he added one extra mana to his mana pool by accident. And we're recording. Okay, just, you know, uh, I gotta do the paranoid check every once in a while. Kinjali's Collar. That's not what you want. Probably gonna put that in Graveyard. And if he doesn't, that's, if, he, if he didn't put that in Graveyard, I would assume he's got uh, something crazy in hand. Inspiring Cleric. Okay, I'll probably trade this off soon enough. I mean, I don't have any blue mana, so it's not doing anything for me. <clears throat> hmm, one with the wind. 
think just attack in the air. Play. I mean, I can steal one of his things, but this is also mana efficient, so. I stole that immediately because it's just, it needs to be answered straight away. Six lands. Could play something pretty big here, maybe a, a three five that whenever it takes damage, Kingdom gets a plus one plus one counter. I think this is me a Teradon Knight. Okay, so he's gonna gain two life. I won't be able to attack a block. <clears throat> pretty annoying. I can actually Perilous Voyage my own thing to get that back. And I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna start trading off here. This is probably better. Okay. Sure, he gains two life here, but, you know, he was always going to gain two life with that anyway. Contract killing. Do I want to use that? Probably not. I think I like... Hmm... Pass the turn, see what he does. Because obviously I'm losing the race here. So pass the turn, see what he does. If he attacks, I'll block like this. Uh, the way the creatures are actually laid out right now. Yeah, we'll go like that. See what combat tricks he has, if any. Looks like none. Play a big dinosaur. Decent dinosaur. <clears throat> not, not a decent guy. So. We don't control, okay. Let me see. Yeah, I don't want to let them play that again, so. And I think I'm going to contract killing that. So, didn't know it was you don't control. Hmm. One card in hand. Pretty annoying creature to deal with, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And some nice treasure to fuel up our entrancing melody. This deck seems pretty good. Um, if I am gonna block, I'm gonna block this one because if I if he does have a combat trick, I'd rather like. Not bans this, so he gets an ETB trigger again of the Explorer. <clears throat> and I, you know, I get Scry 2 either way, but, you know, this way he gets another Explorer, which is pretty bad for me. Hmm. <clears throat> Six mana, Dreadmaw. Okay. I'd love to steal that. Can I steal that? Maybe another land off the top. Not quite. Probably gonna need to bounce that. <clears throat> so yeah, five. I need one more land. Probably don't need to look at his hand with Freebooter because he hasn't used a trick yet to kill Slayer of Means. Um I guess I should wait on this, because there's no protection spell in white and... Yeah, there's no, there's no protection spell in those colors, so I should try and let him play like a third color that I don't know about and play an enchantment on it. No need to do it now.
See if he does anything here. Maybe like a double spell to... Okay, didn't do anything. So we just need to draw land, and we'll be able to steal that, which is, you know, super, super sick. So, probably just play Dreadmaw again. Yep, that seems like a good play. So he's using the land off the top. Desperate Castways, not quite a land. <clears throat> Still, we might get a look at his hand here and steal something because you have to kind of use his turn there. Okay, not really. Hmm. I don't think I'm interested in um, playing one with the wind. Yeah, so six. Yeah, there's no card that can kill me here, so don't need to block just yet. <clears throat> you could have crashed ramparts, put me to one. I just need to draw land. Or Depths of Desire even would do it. Ooh, Dando Vanguard's a good one. Not great against Sailor Memes. Okay, Keeper. Ooh, Keeper's actually pretty bad for me as well, because plus five, plus five, and Trample being the keyword there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Okay, there's the island. But I think the Trample might get me here. <clears> hmm. <throat> so this comes in tapped. He has no cards. So I could steal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I steal this, goes to attacks. Attacks at both of these. My blocks are like this here. Trample over before, so I need to double block that. I need to single block that. So I think I die. Let me just, might as well take my time here. <clears throat> Melody steal the Dreadmaw. I'm tapped out, out of mana. He attacks both. I block here and here, here. That's five toughness versus his three plus five. So he get in for three. If I blocked here, that's eight minus four, that's four, I'm dead. So I need to go here and here versus here. Uh, um, maybe five here and four here. So five here versus eight on four and he's dead. Hmm. So maybe it's actually the Ixlani's Keeper and I do some kind of triple blocking on the Colossal Dreadmaw, which is pretty gross. <clears throat> Pretty gross indeed. And then I want to be killing this. So this is perfect for blocking this. I do need to triple block this. Maybe I equip this. So if I equip this here, Plus two, plus two, he's a four, four. So I'll just double block Dreadmaw. I'll be left with a Desperate Castaways. Block here, here, he has to play four life to give an Instructable and chump here. Hmm. I'll put it on the Kite Stealth Freebooter, it's four toughness. Um. Power. That's kind of awkward. Okay. You know, you can lash me out in the comments. I took a long time with that, though. And I think I worked it out. So I basically, if I steal the Dreadmaw, I die. 
So I have to do that line there <clears throat> to not be dubs. No matter which way I blocked, because he did have the. Oh my god, that's eight mana. After all that counting, did I really count wrong? Oh my god, did I just literally five and two is seven and this needs eight? Okay, but a top deck land, so yeah, I'm I'm still gonna I'm still gonna do that line. So now we're down to top deck mode. Ooh, that's a juicy one. Especially if he kind of goes through the win at all. So I guess <clears throat> no attacks again. Uh, maybe should have got it for one in the air. Might have been a mistake there. Yeah, I mean, top deck land is, is, is a reasonable out, so... Playing around losing is always good. Hmm. Could attack for five in the air. Be left with some blockers. Maybe just one in the air so I don't have to use this depths of desire. Double no, except it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go one in the air. Because this way I think he doesn't attack back. And he knows about the depths of desire, so I'd rather be not forced to use the depths of desire in the Colossal Dreadmaw, because he wouldn't mind that. Pretty far behind on time here, though. I can't even remember what happened. I think this is game one. Yeah, this is game one. And just because of that, I think I'm going to attack with... Two in the air. Because I can always... Wow, Settler Wreckage? Okay, Bright Reprisal. And I can't return him to his owner's hand because then he would um he'd get a creature back, so I'm not gonna do that. So I guess I could play around Bright Reprisal, but I think me being far behind on time makes me want to incentivize to attack. Like I'm six minutes behind. That's usually I don't take this long, but I guess in a, in a potential three O's type situation, I don't wanna don't wanna time out. So I really need to win this game one and then win game two. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna speed up here. I'm gonna be clicking a lot. Apologies if that annoys you. Okay. Snap off here, snap off here. Yeah, it's gonna be mashing the click button. Apologies for all you people who get annoyed by that, but don't wanna lose on time. I mean, I know it harks back to me not signaling the Dreadmaw, but if I steal the Dreadmaw, and then he just, um, you know, let's say top X land, then I'm just dead, so. If he didn't, obviously I'd be in a great position, but... Okay. Need to top deck something pretty good here. Did not. And just for the sake of um, conserving my time bank and concede. Hmm. I could... Wow, I can't believe I miscounted the lands. But... You know. You gotta... Prosperous Spell Swindle. Pretty good against Dread Maw. <clears throat> the Dive Down's great against his Pious Interdiction. Melody's great. 
I might take out something, maybe Storm Sculptor. Yeah, because I want the Spell Swindle because he's got some cards like, like let's say late game we're top decking and he just plays uh, the, the the Wayfinder, I think it is, where it's just, oh, this hand's gas. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. He plays the um, <clears throat> the card that like, the, the I think it's Waker of the Wilds where you can make your lands into creatures. I just really need to counter that, so. Uh, or like Colossal Dreadmill is a pretty good counter target for as well. Even the the, the, the white uh, spine back creature. 13 minutes to finish two games. I think it's doable, especially with this hand. Two Sky Marches, um, plus Mark the Vampire. Like, once I have Dive Down back up, it's going to be pretty hard to beat. Because he didn't seem to have many flyers. But of course, he could have Crushing Canopy. Okay, Danto, pretty good two drop. Possibly one of the best in the format. Or definitely the best. One of the best. Don't know what the exact best is. Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna go Sky March and just take three damage. Obviously, the max punish should be if he kind of main phased Crushing Canopy. No blockers, because he's just going to pay four life and make it indestructible. Potential no third land? I doubt it. Yeah. Ravenous Dagger Tooth. Yeah. Land? Land would be nice. Plus for castaways. Obviously going to be taking six here, but uh, next turn I'm going to go Sailor Means, um, you know, and then I can just kind of mark the Vampire, one of these, and hopefully ride it to victory. But since I missed my land drop there, potentially I should have gone Sailor Means, because then next turn I can, you know, play Mark and hold it up, and I get one more extra step of life swing damage. Like, I'm taking six here. Six is a lot. Whip tail, pretty good on this board. Land, okay. Perilous voyage. Sailor, sailor, well, sailor blocks this, then I chump this and take three. It's actually okay. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go Sailor Pass here. Um, yeah, I probably should have played the Sailor Return earlier instead of the Sky March because you know six power is definitely better than four power, even with the little life loss. <clears throat> but I think I was mainly hoping to hit my land, so should have just prepared for the worst and played Sailor. Attack all, probably. Yeah. I think I'm fine with this. Slash of talents on the sailor? Hmm. Yeah, I think I just let that happen. He's got to pay four life as well, which is nice. I mean, he gets two back, so I guess there's that. <clears throat> so hopefully no follow-up play, but probably. That's a good one. Really need a land here. 
Land, 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 land. That is not a land. Wow. So I could attack for four lifelink. He can't block. I'll go to 14. He'll go to 10. I'll be attacked back for eight. I'll go to six. That doesn't seem the best. Hmm. Ugh, rough, rough stuff. Mark of the Vampire, oh, plus one with the wind. How do I win? I don't think I win. Desperate castaways. Double block your grazing whiptails takes six. Yeah, pretty dire stuff here. <clears throat> And like, yeah. Or do, yeah, double block your whip tail. Take five because we want to hold up look at dispersal as well, which is you know gross. But just those two, okay. Hmm. So now, uh, now I regret not leaving up an island because I definitely could have left up an island instead of this treasure. Oh, such a big mistake because I could have just you know double block this and dive down hmm so maybe I can I uh, pretty um, cancel so I get another, I don't think I get another priority, so this Parallel Sword is going to be too late. But I was going to take five anyway with the, uh... okay, I do get a chance. I think I just take five though, which is really gross because I get to hold up look at this dispersal. If he, if he slams the land plus Dreadmaw. Uh, okay. Have to counter that. just too good. Land. <sighs> I guess it's just not meant to be. Wow, this is gross. Just past the turn here. See what he does. So, if I bounce this, I get to scry too, which is nice. I guess I just bounce this. Wow, no land on top. Bottom of library for sure. Could this be a top worthy? I don't think it is. Obviously, I could have died to a Crash Ramparts there, but if he has Crash Ramparts there, you know, GG's. Speaking of GG's, don't think we're going to win this one. The stack is sweet. The stack is real sweet. I think we could have a chance. We drew some lands. Land? Okay, there's the land. <laughs> a little bit late. Only one play. Seven. I don't think we attack. So we've got a seven. He attacks all. I block one. I take eight. I die. So leave a black as a blocker. He'll probably just attack with this, force me to kind of two form myself, which is pretty nice. I guess I could wait a turn, then I have dive down up, but then he just attacks all, and then I'm dead. <clears throat> yeah, 
smart play. So I don't block out a one. Next turn I have dive down. But he attacks all that time. So what happens if he attacks all? I block this. I block this. I take five and I die. Damn it. And if I draw a land off top, I can kill this. Block this. Block this. Take three. Don't die. Oh no, he plays a Danda Vanguard. No. I think because of the contract killing treasure, so we can double spell next turn if we draw a land. I mean, it's just so. Yeah, I mean, he's just going to swing out. Land? Maybe he'll play around something, like a bounce spell plus Skullduggery or something like that. So like Skullduggery this, this will gain one more life. Yeah, Skullduggery plus bounce spell. God, this is uh, unfortunate, but to be fair, like we used all our run good in, in the first four games of the, the first two rounds. So we're getting, getting punished now for it. And he did play around something. Good news for us. <clears throat> Let me just lean forward in my chair a little bit. See what happens. Not the worst draw. Probably can risk an attack now. Attack, go to 10. If he swings out, I block, block, take 6. Yeah, we can we can attack. And he doesn't even have 5 mana to punish me for um, the kill spell he had in game 1. A little bit of hope here. The smallest amounts. I assume it, yeah, if that, that means attack all. <clears throat> Take six, go to four. Land. Land, 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 any land. Okay, any land is good. So he definitely has the five mana spell, which is really good for us because he won't even get to draw a card off it. If we win this game, I'm gonna be like, I know we're gonna lo probably lose on time anyway, but I'll be super proud of myself for not giving up. I mean, I was in pretty, pretty defeatist there. Like obviously you could still play a six six. Okay. The Shana's Wayfinder, it's a good one. You can steal that out of Vanguard, which is nice. Didn't, don't even have to use our treasure for it. I think I'm going to attack first. Go to nine. Okay, this is looking pretty good for us. Maybe, maybe we can come back. It's very unlikely. Just because of the time constraint to me to win game two. Because his deck is so good that it'd be very hard. I'd have to get a really good draw. I'll 
Bones, he could have settled the wreckage here. Oh, a second. Snapper. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to play four life. So you get the five, five. I guess that was pretty suspicious, but now I could get, I could lose a lot of life here, but I still have a chump blocker. Okay, just a land. That's actually pretty decent because it, 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 it digs that land and then, you know, I'm probably just gonna trade with Merfolk Branch Walker if he allows me to do that. Which he does not, and I'm not gonna block. Just take five, he'd have to have two pump spells to kill me. Seven mana, must be Thundering Spine back. So we're gonna need a bounce spell for that. Or a pump spell. I don't even know if we have pumps. One with the wind? Okay, not one with the wind. So, I mean, we still can win. If, if we don't lose life from this. Come on, don't lose that much life. Daring Saboteur, not the worst. No, we need to lose no life there. Attack all. Wow. So block the biggest. Oh, what a game. What a game. Uh, decently happy with how I played. Maybe I should have played the, um, the, the, the Sailor of Memes uh, turn earlier. Wow. Pretty cool games though, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, almost 3-0, but, well, I mean, sorry, almost uh, rallied that single game and gave us a chance for game three. But uh, yeah, any comments and questions, again, just timestamp if you can. I really appreciate that, so thanks for watching, guys.